Well, it's been two days since Matt Rule stepped down at Baylor to take the Carolina Panthers job. Baylor Athletic Director Mac Rhodes is quietly going about finding the man he will tab to next lead, the Baylor Bears. After being around a few coaching changes in Lubbock and in Baton Rouge, here are some of my thoughts on the direction and where this coaching search stands. We haven't heard much on the Baylor coaching search, and that's just the way Baylor Athletic Director Mac Rhodes likes it. He has a small circle that's helping him with the search, which helps keep the cards close to the vest. Your match, your match, your match. down the stem. Good. The current coach could already be on staff. Joey McGuire is the interim head coach and the favorite among the current players. That would not be unprecedented for Rhodes to go that way. Win your hands! Win your hands! Win your hands! There you go, baby! In previous stops, he promoted Barry Odom at Missouri upon Gary Pinkle's retirement. And before that, he promoted Tony Levine at Houston after Kevin Sumlin's departure. Levine eventually fired by Rhodes and replaced by Tom Herman. Of the four college football playoff participants, all four head coaches were promoted from the previous coach's staff. Three of those coaches carried the interim tag with their current program at some point. Both national title participants, Ed Ogeron and Dabo Swinney, both interim coaches before becoming the full-time guy. <laughs> Given McGuire's relative inexperience at the college level, the staff he surrounds himself will be key, and I imagine a big part of his pitch to Rhodes. Now, of course, there are other outside candidates from rising star at Louisiana Lafayette, Billy Napier, to the seasoned veteran Sonny Dykes up at SMU. But at this point, there are very few who know where the search stands and where it's focused. And... That's just the way Mac Rhodes likes it.